the most terrifying exorcism, Satan hates, casting him out, from men, women, children. Before we enter into this powerful prayer, let us gather our hearts and minds, for what we are about to invoke is the divine authority that transcends all earthly power. We stand on the edge of the spiritual realm, where light confronts darkness, where the sacred battles the profane. Today, we call upon the mighty names of the Holy Trinity, we summon the heavenly host, and we arm ourselves with the faith that moves mountains. In this sacred moment, we are not just participants but warriors of light, ready to witness the triumph of good over evil, the liberation of the soul from the clutches of darkness. As we begin, let the words we speak be a shield and a sword, a beacon of hope and a force of divine will. Now, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O wicked spirit, here is true piety, here is he who suffered for our salvation. Now, faith he, shall the prince of this world be cast forth. This is that body which was taken from the body of the Virgin, which was stretched out upon the cross, which lay in the grave, which rose from death, and which ascended into heaven in the sight of his disciples, by the terrible power of this majesty, I command thee, wicked devil, to depart from this image of God, to fly from it, and never more to molest it. Our help is in the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Lord, shew us thy mercy, and grant us thy salvation. Lord, hear our cries, and let our cry come unto thee. O eternal and omnipotent God, who madst heaven and earth and all that therein is, save and deliver this thy servant from these evil spirits, and from all diabolical power, that all men may know, how great is thy mercy, and how infinite is thy power. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, free this thy servant from all his languishings, and from all the disturbances of ghosts and evil spirits, through thy most holy compassion. The God Sabaoth, the God Emmanuel, the God Elohim, the God Agla free and deliver him by virtue of the prayers and merits of the blessed Virgin Mary thy mother, and of all the saints, and by virtue of the intercession of the blessed Michael the Archangel, and all the angels, of Saint John Baptist and the Holy Apostles, Peter, Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Simon, Thaddeus, Barnaby, and all the rest of the he saints and she saints, by the mediation of the cherubims, and seraphims who continually praise thee, saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of Sabaoth, Father Omnipotent, who desirest the salvation of all mankind, and that they should attain to the knowledge of thee, be merciful to this thy servant a sinner, and hear my prayer which I now pour out before thee in the behalf of this poor creature who is molested by the devil, and flies to thy compassion. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Visit, O Lord, we beseech thee, this habitation and creature of thine, and remove far away from him all the snares and assaults of the devil. Let thy angels, Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel dwell therein, to preserve it in peace and from all unclean spirits, and let thy blessing be always upon us. I conjure ye, O accursed devils, abiding in this body, from whatever part of the world ye come, 
to whom power is given by God over this creature of God, and all you ethereal powers, and infernal spirits, and all you general and special sorts of evil demons, of whatsoever kind ye are, or whether sent from the east, or from any other point of the compass, I conjure ye all, I say, by the power of God the Father, by the wisdom of God the Son, and the virtual efficacy of God the Son, by virtue of the authority granted me by our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who was crucified, Son of the Most Potent Creator, who made all things out of nothing, that ye may not have any power of keeping silence, or of abiding or remaining in this creature of God. But I constrain and command you, whether ye will or no, that laying aside all fallacy, fraud or deceit, you declare unto me your names, and through the merits of the Virgin Mary, and all the saints, I discharge all you unclean and wicked spirits from this body, and send you to the lowest depths of the profound abyss. Therefore be gone accursed into everlasting fire prepared for ye, and all your companions. And if ye rebel, or prove contumacious and disobedient, I again by the same authority conjure, constrain and command all the devils your enemies, all the princes in hell, and all the infernal spirits, to come and punish and torment, and moreover to carry ye away in the name of Jesus to the aforesaid place of infernal torture, and there to chain you fast by these most holy names of God, El, Elian, Eloah, Sabaoth, Elohim, Ezurja, Adonai, Jehovah, Jah, Tetragrammaton, Sadai, Meshes, Hagios, Eskiros, Hotheos, Athanatos, Soter, Emmanuel, Agla, and Jesus, who is Alpha and Omega, send ye headlong into the deepest depth of the abyss, to the end that from henceforth ye may have no power to abide, remain or inhabit in this creature of God, an image of Christ, nor that you take up or possess this place or any other place, through the virtue and by the virtue of the aforesaid names. And let the angel Michael bind ye in the depth of the abyss. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.